Well hey guys, I want to set a front and rear Sebring valance for the MGB project and I've spent the last week painting these up in a nice sort of yellow colour so it is a nice contrast to the green colour of the car. Now some of my viewers out there are going to turn around to me and say what am I doing converting an MGB GT Mark 1 with these lovely chrome overriders to a Sebring? Well all I can say back to that is I got this car out of a barn where it had been stuck for 8 years when it had a seized engine and I've done a lot of work to it so far so anything I do to, to it is a good thing because it's another car out on the road and not in the scrapyard. So anyway, let's get these C-ring valance on the car. Well that came off quite easy, I was expecting a bit more of a fight than that. So top tip time, whenever fitting a new panel which hasn't got any holes in it, it's always good to have some masking tape to run along that panel and that way we can use a pencil to mark the masking tape and drill it in the right place. Remember, always measure twice, cut once. So just a little bit out on this hole here, but that's all right because we can just elongate this hole a little bit over. We want these holes to be slightly bigger than bolt holes anyway because that allows for a bit of adjustment.
there. That's the front valley in place and it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm really impressed with it. So obviously the next thing to do would be to put a bit of masking tape around the edge of the wings and mark on there where the centre line should be for the drill holes so the valent can go in place quite nicely. But unfortunately my wings are a little bit rotten at the bottom so I'm going to have to nut and bolt it just on the end, just a temporary measure until I can afford new wings. Now then, one last thing to do is to fit the vinyl number plate to the bonnet. Now I've got to confess, I've never fitted a vinyl sticker to a car before, so this is something new for me too. So what I'm going to do is clean the surface of this bonnet just to make sure there's no contamination on it whatsoever, and then what we'll do is we'll gauge where the number plate is just to make sure it looks nice, we'll put a bit of masking tape underneath just to give us something to go off of, and then we'll peel back one side of the number plate and carefully put it on using a rag on the back and just peeling it back and hopefully we should have a nice number plate on the front of this bonnet. Well that's the plan anyway. Well there we are, the Sebring bumper in place and the front number plate on the bonnet. And I've got to admit, I'm absolutely over the moon with how well this turned out. I'll be interested in what you guys think to this new conversion that I've done to the car. But as always guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.